Happy birthday, brother. Oh, my God. It is the best hour of their life. <laughs> what is it? A conveyor? It's a conveyor. It's not even moving it very far. So you're banned now from designing and buying machines. As if my birthday couldn't get any better. Outrageous, isn't it? Mike, I'll leave this here. We'll start now, will not we? How many different names are you going to call him? <laughs> what the? I now need to restart it. <laughs> oh, yes, what... oh, Tell my mum that I'm on the TV and that isn't it big. Welcome. Yeah, no, couldn't be any louder. Welcome to the Scrap King Diaries, and we are filming on the best day of the year. Hello, Harry. Happy birthday, brother. Oh, my God. There's a nice brass there for you. Oh, you've got your brass for your mantelpiece. A nice late naked lady brassping. And happy birthday. Blow them oh, out, make a wish. These joke handles. No. Go on. Go on. Nice. Thanks for you. Oh, nice! Happy oh. birthday. Oh, right. <laughs> there you go. Nice cake, Cheers, Rich. Yeah, my wish was for Rich to do a full episode. Oh, my yeah. Raring to go. Raring. Excited. Oh, look at that. Fits, man. Well, it's a badge, isn't it? But... <laughs> nice. There we go. Best day of the year to be filming on. So, where are you now? 31, 32. I'm 29 today. Pure muscle, six foot tall. No beard. Huh? No, he's here soon. Small ego. Small ego, yeah. No beard. Small pecker. <laughs> <laughs> Another three or four years, it'll start growing, like one. Yeah. <laughs> Will it be better than bet as good as yours? Well, you'll probably go to Turkey when you have a... Oh, if, I, if I had, like, little patches, yeah, I'll just... Okay. I don't really... Eat it, come on. Yeah, you, no, give it back. I want to eat it, man. You don't panic about my cake. Oh, nice bit of wax. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> so there you go. That's it, yeah. I'll take it. Is that all I get? Yeah. Where, where's my actual present? It's on the way. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. It's always on the way. I've heard that for 17 years. All oh, right, so on today's episode, we have just sold 25 tonne of starters and alternators. Now, with the LME and the copper being high, the starters and alternators and electric motors are followed, but we can actually offer now, we're going to start off with a nice price, £1,300 per tonne for starters and alternators. How exceptional is that, Rich? That is amazing. That is a birthday price. Extra handsome and young and generous. I told you about the TV show they're asking me to go on. <laughs> I'm going to put it out to the viewers. Oh, you have, you need to be on TV. I've got a DM on Instagram earlier, right? What channel is he for? Five. Five, nice. Uh, what's it called, Will? Rich House Poor House. Rich House Poor House. And I have to go and live with someone. Is that, I have to go and live with the family? No, you swap houses. Swap houses? Yeah. I don't know about that. I'm having some geese to sleep in my bed. Right then, let's go have a look around. Let's see what's going on in the yard. You're going to join? I have a bit more of that concept. I like the, I like the icing on top of it. It's nice. Yeah, take it. No, because I like the whole f***ing thing, man. It's your birthday. Look what Gemma said to me. She went, do you want a surprise meal on Tuesday? I went, no. I want to... No, I don't... How could you ask me if I want a surprise meal? Oh, how moody you are. I said, you can't ask me if I want a surprise. It's not a surprise anymore, is it? You have to lose. You give it to me like you. Lose, get down, yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy comments first every week. Huh. Ian Andrew, 6347. Happy Sunday, everyone. Because when people are watching this, it is the best hour of their life. <laughs> Lighty Collects. Do any of your tatters bring you regular surprise of silver? You ask the tatters what their best payday, but without saying who. Uh, what's the most you've had to pay one tatter in a day? Um, loads, really. Oh, yeah, if they say the non pairs Yeah, loads for a while. So they have a good I've bank, paid like... normal people, like normal customers, that, like 10 grand and stuff. Because they save up or they do get like a touch and they have like a, a clear out to do and there's a load of like decent cable in that. So it does happen. Staple viewing after the football each week. I wish I liked football. Rob Coppin, 5699. If brass does hit £5 a kilo, I'll bring my tap collection in that I've been sitting on. Tap collection. I'll sit on a sofa. Huh? I'd rather sit on a sofa. Oh, right, oh, God. You're so not funny. If he wants me to weigh him in personally, I will do that. Bring them in and I'll weigh you in personally. And Rich can press the buttons. Oh, man. oh you, you can read your missus out. One day you'll get my name right, Harry. I'm in. I can't read all that. Oh, look what she said. Do you have any nude sculptures? There you are. You willing to whack in the post? Tell you what, find Will or myself on Instagram, send us a DM, and then we will we'll, we'll give you that one that we just had. Have a look at it. Where, where's it gone, Rich? I'll give you my birthday present off Richard. And it is exactly what you want. A naked brass lady. Nice. So if you want it, DM us because you come on in every video and that's our way of repaying you. We'll send you that off. It's about two kilo there. Eight quid. I'll put me on the Nine. Nine quid. Yeah, about that. There is a comment I want to read out. Hey, Rich. Obviously, we paid that geezer that 
zinc for like about a month ago and then found it and then not to us. And someone put Tony C4687. I think that's unfair to the customer. You messed up, so you should take the loss, not pass it over to your customer. And take three days worth of scrap of blah, blah, blah. That's ridiculous. So your customer pays for your pop up. And I understand. I understand what you've done, but at the end of the day, you should have took the L, not the customer. Um, no, absolutely not. That customer knew that we made a mistake, because on all of our tickets, it says to please check the details, make sure everything's correct before they leave or before 4 p.m. when we pay out. Now, I understand that they're not going to come rushing back to us if we've overpaid them. I get that. But we have overpaid them. And it's my money at the end of the day. And I'm not letting somebody run around with my dough laughing at me behind because we've made a mistake. Now, he was still £95 up because his three tickets came to my 95 quid less than what he actually technically owed us. So still had, and I wiped that clean with him, didn't we? We said, just call it quits. No, I've had, I've had most of it back. So he's £95 up, and yeah, basically, no, I don't care whether you think it's unfair, Tony T. When you're Tony. You all would just check the tickets oh, for you, yeah. hand that. I know, but obviously, double, you know, double, double check. maybe it wasn't me, maybe it was Jamie. Yeah, 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 it wasn't. Maybe it was you. It wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> and there's a lot of people here actually debating it. Someone disagrees with him, somebody disagrees with him. It was a sneaky way of doing it after you messed up. Yeah, I know, because I want the money back. It's about to be sneaky, isn't it? Like a snake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Otherwise, you're not going to get me right. Otherwise, but like, if I brought up the customer on day one, you owe me like, what, 600, whatever it was, I'd never see him again. He's been in now, everything's sound. So it's win win for everyone. What do you think, Rich? Oh, yeah. 68 years old, fighting cancer in two places. Taroni's just kept my mind alive. Scrap metal is and will remain a piece of me. Thank you for just being you and your lads. That's very nice. Well, good luck in your fight. We hope you get over it. If you ever pass in, pop in. Have a cup pop of tea. Pop in, a cup of tea. Show you the brass wall. Forgive my dumbness, but do the brake pads get melted down? And if so, what do they make with them? Uh, I always wondered how scrapyards made a living, but now I know, thanks. No, not only informative, but also educational. Same thing, but it's still not. Uh, I don't know what they do with brake pads, to be fair. Ellen A, Ju Five ZF. Oh, if you want some, come down and get. Come down and Rich will give you a pad in. Phil, Phil, three seven zero seven. People keep saying what Ricky. Ah, people keep saying what Ricky T saying, as you can see. What about Mr H T keep saying? You know what I mean. Is that what you're saying? That's apparently so. Yeah. You do say that a lot. Yeah, because like I, I, I. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Most people don't. Where you got this tan from? Do you like it? It's suddenly gone dark. A bit older. Look like a tangerine, doesn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Phil, Phil, 3707. Harry's got to choose between either putting the Drunken Fortnite over video on or doing his HGV. I'd do my HGV. But it did hit 500 likes. You haven't even shown me the video yet. Go in it. Yeah, official mackerel. Anyone curious? <laughs> Anyone curious about how much the pigeon weighs? Happy birthday, King Harry. Why did he ask how much it weighs? Because he wants to buy it, but it's not for sale. Two thousand pound a kilo he charges for that pigeon. <laughs> Elia Gustini, seven nine six. That's not one of your cousins, is it? <laughs> Hi everyone. After some months with Atlas MH, can you give us a feedback? Uh, would you still buy them in the future? How do I do that, Will? Should we do a bit more of an in-depth episode on it, or briefly now? Briefly now, and then we'll do it anyway. You know, content creators, man. Uh, would we buy an Atlas again? I think the answer is quite easily a yes. The machines are bang on, and the after service has been 100% in it. Yeah, really. And we like Belgium, don't we? Was it Belgium? Bremen. 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 Yeah. yeah. TDL are bang on, and the machines are good. There has been issues that arise, but they are, I suppose, you buy any brand of machine, it happens. Um, and the way that the issues are handled counts for a lot, and it's been handled really, really well and efficiently and quickly, and yeah, can't knock them at all. So yeah, perfect. How about having some of the items on the brass wall appreciated by an antiques expert? Do you know anyone? Can't you go to that one by your house? What's that item? Wall? Antiques expert, you get them in the safe. Um, no. Why? There's shit down there. Well, you find one that isn't shit down there, obviously, obviously there's <laughs> Rich, huh? em Rich emptied them out, it's all in him. <laughs> if, if, if anyone knows of an antique expert that is willing to come down and appraise some of the things on the wall, sound. Keen for that. Antique Roadshow, Antique Scrap Show. Hosted by Ricky T and his 
and it's bass pigeon. <laughs> it's nice, mate. Eh? I like that submarine helmet. Do you like it, yeah? How much do you like it? Not that much. No. Uh, like, it's nice there. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, actual Bugatti brake pads, though. Yeah. What else we got in there? New York cap. Yeah. What are you trying to do with these, Rich? It says Pia. Pia? I'm putting them up, yeah. What for? Because they're f***ing nice. We've got a random sign saying Pia. Yeah. Yeah, but like, it doesn't Rear sound like... you sell something else if you want pie. <laughs> I'd rather a pie. Ah, oh, pie. <laughs> what have we got here, then? This. I'll face this of the week, so I'm keeping it, because it might be Andy for... And what is it? Is it a conveyor? It's a conveyor, yeah. So, obviously, what happens? You put stuff in there... And it, and conveys it, goes, up, there. And it goes up here... ...to come out of here. Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> I don't know yet, do I? It might be handy one day. <laughs> What's a, like, it's not even moving it very far. But you might be able to put magnets in here, possibly. It's, Larry, just don't worry about it. It's like, if you can shovel it to there... That's what I'm saying, if you're going to shovel it onto that bit, you just shovel it into there, wouldn't you? Yeah, you're missing the whole process, aren't you? What process, though? You're just no, moving no, it? Yeah. Magnets in there. Is the magnets in there? No, but there could be. Put on his own so like, it's not even like you have to transport it 20 foot. <laughs> How big do you want it? I'm just saying, what's the... Listen, at some, some, some point, somebody's got it's a shovel and they're going... Oh, that right. To go four foot and out of the box. Silly, will you? But by the time you put the shovel there, you could have just put it in the bin. But you haven't decontaminated it, have you? You're missing the whole process, aren't you? No, don't start. Just... I don't know what to say. Scrap it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lovely looking old You are a hoarder, though. man. Just say I'm a hoarder, please. I'll use that one day. Do you want to know what uh, the, the other machine that Richard's designed and built for this, this place? What, the, the dryer? The dryer? Yeah. How much does it cost? Yeah. Roughly. 20 grand. 20 grand. 20 grand. How many times have you used it? Twice. <laughs> yeah, and the first, the second shovel we ever put in it, it just set on fire straight away. <laughs> I'm like, does that work? It was dry after that, wasn't it? So you're banned now from designing and buying machines. Right, so was it, lad. Thank you very much. Really enjoyed it. Gear out, look at that. Birthday boy, happy birthday. Yeah. That's why, that's why Sean gets super looked after. No, you know what I mean? no other yeah, customers give me a bottle yet today. Make sure you wait until you get home, though, Sean. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Sean. So it's cost him 22 quid for a bottle of Grey Goose, but now he jumps the queue every day three times. <laughs> <laughs> so, as if my birthday couldn't get any better, look what Mick has done to the micro. <laughs> oh. Mick, I've come to uh, show this off. Look at that, look. Anti and oh my god, what fell off it? <laughs> Anti rambars. That is solid, that is me. That is super, super solid, man. There, we'll look. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a nice piece of wood in there, mm -hmm. drill it down, yeah, and then put little channels of wood, yeah, like so, to stop all of your camera gear floating around. No. And then I'm gonna get one of those luggage tents, nets. Tents <laughs> and put it over the top to secure it, and then we've got lots of space for all of our belongings. So much room for activity. So much room for activities, mate. So much room. I've got a mate that'll sell something to go in the back. What? Her name's Annette. <laughs> I hate you. As if I have to live in this for five days. Have some respect, Will. I mean, this I can't your... wait to live in this for five days. This is your home. Have a look at the front end. The front is the most impressive bit. <laughs> Outrageous, isn't it? That's one word for it. Can I leave this here, Mick? Mike, can I leave this here? Mick, Mike, his name's Mark. Well, start now, would it be? How many different names are you going to call him? Mick, Mike, Mark. <laughs> Is it Mark or Mick? Mark. Mark, oh, f Honestly, in the five minutes that you said Mick, Mike, Mick and, Mark. and Mark. I get confused all the time with Mick and Mark. <laughs> Sorry, mate. That is... Look, look, Foxy's going to run that this time. It's going to cause some serious damage. However, what you, my pal said to me, because I sent him a picture of it, and he said, make sure that you check that we've not tied anything to it. Imagine well, just getting in, put in reverse. It's tied to, like, a fence or something. <laughs> I'm pulling the fence down. Is that ain't coming off, is it? Just in case viewers don't understand why you've done it in the last one, in the last one, I rammed my pal up the arse so hard. 12 seconds later. Oh. 
<laughs> so for everyone on YouTube, it's not meant to look like that. For everybody watching, it's part of uh, It blew your radiator. And I was six miles south of John O'Groats. I blew my radiator and it took me four hours to get it four miles because to a garage, which then we used two full tubs of rag weld to try and fix it, and it didn't work. However, I left the car with the garage, and then a year later, I got a day on Instagram that the car apparently was still going and they were using it as a farm vehicle. Do I want it back? And that's my KA. So I reckon it would have made it, you know. So now you've taken preventative measures. So now I've taken extreme preventative measures. I just need to get a... What? Mick? Oh, oh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what can I do, yeah? If I, if I get another one of these... Yeah. Can you put some RS... Like, put some in around there so they can just not break it off again? Well, you just get steel and just put it all over the body. I need it, mate. I do need it, yeah. <laughs> Hell. I just said to your brother, I said, have you got Harry's boost back? You in? It's not his. It's mine. I don't know whether it's mine's still here, you know. <laughs> She's a goer. <laughs> She's an absolute goer. I might have to take it with me in case it does stop. Oh, we're like, f***ing it. Listen, he's going to have Oh, I'm just taking it to see Julia to get a new wing mirror. We need cup holders, Will. We've got no cup holders. Ask Mick, Mike, Mark. Huh? Ask Mick, Mike, Mark to make you some cup holders. <laughs> Mikey will make one. <laughs> Who's are these Oakleys? Mick, Mike, who? <laughs> <laughs> Who's are these? Mike. <laughs> Mark. Is it Mike? Mick. No. Mark. M Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'm not even being rude. I'm just. I'm just. Useless. I'm not very good with names. Mark, who's these glasses? Well, well, I just found. A, I bet these are two hundred quid, man. They're missing an arm. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm just saying that these are like expensive glasses. I, 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 do, I, I want. I want some. Right, come on then. It works. <laughs> Mark, that is insane. That it, our last 10 minutes. Who's done a good job? Mark. Oh, it is Mark. No, I like it. No, I like it. No, I, like it. I burn out my C63. No, burn out that. Mark, what the? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, now we're start again. <laughs> Dust fell off my steak. That's half your chassis, come off. <laughs> that was the worst. Thing I have ever seen. I now need to restart it. <laughs> Will, just, just turn the key for me. No, I'm just looking at you with those glasses on. I want to see if I can Google a spare arm for this. These are, these are expensive. Yeah, why does the battery keep draining? I don't know, there's probably... It's got so much yeah, but subwoofers, air horns, light bars... Uh... It's the battery's not the right size. You need a bigger one. Ah. Right then. What are you doing? Help me. What's it done? You're all right. What have you done to me? <laughs> oh, no, not me thing, man. <laughs> I'll have to get some. I'll have to get some. <laughs> now, you fing <laughs> knob. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Will, jump in. Right then, so Julia has some uh, different grades of engines she wants me to buy. So I'm going to go and educate her, show her how it works, show her what is worth what. Where is she? Where is she? What do you reckon? It's like a tank, Julia. It's like a tank. Not gonna have a radiator, it's not gonna go that f is it? Yeah. And these are gonna go around Ireland. Yeah. Is it gonna get there? Well this one will because it's like a, it's built built like a you know. This is gonna get round Ireland, this is. Huh? I gotta see this going round them hills. Come to see your engines anyway. I know you man. Come on. Oh you dock me. I'm not gonna dock you. Have you got a magnet, Julia? Should have bought one. Some of the engines won't have a starter on. That's only. That's alright. I'm about that. Because that's only because what customers. That's, that's, so that's No, fine. but the gearboxes, they're all on. on. Oh, that's it. Yeah, complete steel. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I just wanted to make sure. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's no problem at all. You you made out that half of them were strips in that. Yeah. No, that's fine. No. It's just ironing. Some of them. Ironing and sealing it. Like, you know. Um, you know when they strip the gearbox. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I need you to check. That's so, bang on. That is. That's as it is. Uh, but well, they all go in the same pile with us, uh, Phil, so you can just load it up and I'll just, I'll just I'll separate them anyway. Well, that's all in the alley over there. I'll well, you guys will do it, wouldn't you? Huh? You guys will do it here, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then do that then. That was easy. I was expecting a right Bye. mix load. Uh, Julie, do you have a wing mirror? No, I haven't. Do you have one that I can bodge on? 
It doesn't matter if it fits or not, I'll just drill it on, can't I? What's that, Suzuki? That's for the next one, Jim Oh, my God. Oh, are you joking? We're going to Africa next time, we've decided. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, but you ain't getting parts for them, these like. That's all right, I'll buy a brand new one. Oh, That's minging. It's, it's been in the yard for six months, rotting. What can I do? I'll get it valeted before I go. <laughs> all right, then. Is that the bed in the bathroom? No, that's going to be for our luggage and all Will's camera stuff. I thought you were having that as a car. Well, no, all of it. Yeah, we're sharing, we are. Oh, you're not. Why? You do realise what you're letting yourself in Yeah, for. I did it when we went to Scotland. It was just as bad. I pity you sharing with this one here. Yeah. We'll have a nice sing along, man. It'd be nice. Good time. All right, Gemma, what's up with you? We'll, we'll do some nice bonding. No, what are you doing? I need to start it. It doesn't start. <laughs> I need to get a different battery on it. No, no, you need to wire the sub and the compressor to a switch so that you can turn them off. Oh, don't give it so all the don't give it all the, all the don't the give it all the jargon like you know what you're talking about. You well, I do. You just you've got a tiny little double A battery in there, powering half of everything. Ta da! Oh, you see that? So when are you doing me? Like three and a half weeks. Yeah, it is actually yeah. Shit, four weeks. How are the police for uh, homemade modifications in Ireland? Huh? How are the police for homemade modifications in Ireland? Charity thing, they're all right. Are you dressing up like leprechauns? Yep. It's gonna be chaos. I just think islands are gonna terrorise you right out there. Nah, no, we're gonna terrorise them. We'll terrorise them. Go on, they will. Her. Let's go. I'll take it off and see what I can do. I might be able to just budge it. Just get some angle and just straight on. Thank you, mate. Mark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Mate, uh, just stick with mate. Yep. Yeah. It's easier. The man's here. <laughs> How are you? Glad you did a big YouTube video on that. I thought you'd come and get us on the chat and that. Come and have a tell look. my mum that I'm on the TV and that, eating it big. You've got to tell the camera then, what's, what's your best day? Uh, today, mate. What is the best day you've had on the scrap? Best day I've had on the scrap. It's probably last night, to be fair. I found a few fridges, a few motors. Yeah. Bit of copper, a boiler, a bit of wire, got a bit of brass, a bit of boiling, a bit of steel. It's all coming out. <laughs> Eve, don't hide yourself, mate. We're proud scrappers around here, mate. Oh, because you want to be on YouTube, but you don't want to be on Crime Watch. This is... <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> is that all the, all the legs clean? Yeah, it all... You made it, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. There we go. Another good day. Hi. Alina! Big boss! How are you, boss? I'm all right, yeah. I'm all right. Today you have good scrap? Yes. Alan, what's the best day you've had on the scrap metal? Well, uh, One day. Uh, the most money. Uh, My uh, time, uh, any time is... Uh, Eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand. Yeah. Uh, how how often? Not so much. For uh, big one like this one. Big day, big uh, big day. day. Uh, one uh, thousand uh, half. And how many miles do you have to drive? Me. To find one thousand pound. I uh, driving only day, one hundred thirty, one hundred forty any day. The one day, one hundred forty miles. Yes. Too far. So how many hours? Two hours off. No. Two hours, two hours. That's only, it? No, only driving in the yeah, yeah. morning and come back uh, yeah, but how, many, how many hours does it take to fill the van? Ten hours, eight, twelve. Depends. Yeah, so one day, one, day, one, day. one day collecting. One day collecting. Next day is? I start uh, morning, five yeah. o'clock. I come back at night. Uh, night. Six, Nine seven, eight, yeah. five, depends. And I come back full van. There's no full, no come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come back. So you can't, you can't, you can't come here every day then. Uh, not every day. One, uh, one, three, four times one week. Three days, four weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three yeah. days you go in. College. Which is the best day? I don't know. Sunday, Saturday. Uh, no, Sunday, uh, Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, no, like it's <laughs> day. It's full. And uh, Wednesday, something like that. Is and nice. you and you have jobs you go to. Jobs. You have like regular customer. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. If I have a friend, too much friend for coming for colleague, plumba, too much plumba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you pay for any of it? Uh, not too much. Not too much. Something for drink. Me, I give. Yeah, 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 I yeah, give yeah. Thirty. Oh no, it's too much. Only twenty for coffee. No, pay too much. <laughs> the only person they pay, they pay you to take it. Yeah, a long time. I. Yeah. Uh, working for Scotty a long time. I have before. Only, only Birmingham. No, too far. Yeah. No, sorry. No, no. You only you only live in Birmingham. Only Birmingham. So you only have the scrapyard in Birmingham, yeah. Uh, the scrapyard selling only here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I uh, collect no this area. Next, next. Which step. one? Too far. How uh, far? You, I know North Wales. 
you know. Too far. That's why it's too hard. Too is, that, is that because there's too many cutting? Yes, it's too many Romania. Yeah. Oh. It's too many people. It's too many people. You ever have two vans on the one road going towards each other and fighting? <laughs> Give me the washing machine. Uh, where are you going? All the, all the customers here know each other. No. That you all know each other. Like one big community. I, maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Me, not like that. I tell you. Yeah. My job only start morning, morning, I come back night. It's no put the van full, no come back. I know. Thank you. I it'll, it'll, to... it'll send you out, will I? Huh? No, it's my friend only help me. He's yeah. working scrap, no scrap yet. My ah, right. Yeah. Only have father. Father, like father is working scrap. Yes. That's what I mean. I said you all know each other. I know in the. Um, uh, you all like one big family. Fa all family me is here. Brother coming today. Brother, father. Okay, Henry, please go on, the lads. Smash it. Thank you very much. See you later. Yes. Imagine stripping metal in sliders. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean. We have, we have health and safety signs and things, but it's just hard work to enforce it, honestly. Because the customers, obviously, one, they don't speak English very well, and two, they don't actually care. But it's a rock and a hard place, you see, because you're, you want to buy the stuff off them, right? So we're like the only trade in the world that behaves like this. So we want to buy their material off them, so we want to look after them, right? But if they're being like and aren't following the rules, the only thing we can do is say, don't come here, but then we're not going to get their scrap. At the end of the day, their scrap is what puts food on our table, do you know what I mean? So it's quite a difficult one to sort of police. You try to look after everybody, but you want to try and enforce it. And actually, since we've done that, the containers back that we mentioned last week with the uh, fridge motor problem. So keep watching, tune in, because next week we're going to show you guys what we've had to do to actually resolve it. And it's been two weeks since it went out, and it's coming back today. So that shows you how long it can take just for the containers that we export to get on the ship. And then it's got to go across the sea. So the, the, it's about three months from door to door on a container. So there we go. Right, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week when I'm going to show you what we do with this container now. Yeah? That was very well contained. <laughs>